Harry and Joel are kind of like Laurel and Hardy, I would say, in that they they just got such a, a, a bond. He has made Joel a more independent person than he was before because of his fine motor skills. He fumbles uh, like a telephone or the remote control and Harry's always there to pick him up, given the command. And that gives us, myself and Francis, confidence that if we're not here, then the, you know Harry's gonna do it for him. Joel takes him to college and he'll walk around the room, say hello to everybody, and then come, uh, come back and just sit by Joel's feet. Um, so he's there for him pretty much all the time, should he need him. Harry means the world to me. I love it. I would never say you for anything. Harry and Bruce is the best to me. It put me more friends. I love all our joy into my life. What I need to hear downtown, the people just What's my not living any time in the world? Now I have Harry, I walk down the high street and people talk and talk to me. That makes me feel terrific. Joel's just about to finish his uh, year of fine art foundation course and he's been accepted into uh, Westminster University to do a fine art degree. It just makes me immensely proud of what he's achieved because initially we were told we would never take him out of the hospital. We were told he would probably never walk. We were told he wouldn't be able to talk um, and it was a bleak outlook um, to see him now with the determination that he's got and the determination he's had over the years. It's just incredible, you know, who'd have thought it from where he was to where he is now. It's amazing.